What's up, guys? It's Fit. So that was Joe. Happy Halloween for all of y'all. I hope y'all have fun on the upcoming event on the 31st. I hope y'all enjoy your Halloween. And um, also, I wanted to let y'all know that I did two recent fitness videos. One is Tone Up Part 2, which is me, you know, just letting y'all know how to tone up your body. I'm using these persistent bands, and um, it hits the shoulders, biceps, glutes, quads, and everything. Also, I did uh, another video. It's a cardio video. It's me jumping the rope. Maybe you should check it out when you get a chance. Guys, I want you to know that um, I hope you enjoy yourselves. Keep staying tuned to the Fitness Iron Show series. And today, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something different. I've done it before, but it's different because I haven't done it in a while. I'm going to play a little horror movie, you know, just celebrating the Halloween season coming. And I hope you enjoy this movie. It's creepy. And you let me know what you think. Take care, guys. Mystery Sketch 2011, Bong Chian Dong Ghost. This story is based on true eyewitness accounts. It was around 11.20 that night. I was dragging myself home, exhausted after a tiring night study session at school. But there was no one on the street, which I thought was strange. I usually see a lot of people, even at night, since my apartment complex is pretty big. Anyway, feeling scared, I kept looking down at the ground while walking home. Suddenly a shadow stretching towards me caught my eye, although there wasn't anyone around me. I looked up to see who there was. I saw a woman walking in front of me, but she looked a little strange. I could say she looked crippled. She was limping and struggling to walk in front of me. Since she was walking very slow, I soon caught up with her. Up close, I was able to see her even better. She was wearing dirty pink pajamas and looked as if all her joints in her body had been twisted. Worse, her hair was a mess and sticking out to everywhere. It seemed so weird that I stopped walking. I felt like I shouldn't get any closer to her, nor did I have the guts to pass her by. Where is my baby? You know, people say... If you're really surprised, you can't even scream. That was right. I froze there, not being able to move at all. My thoughts were racing to her question. Oh my god, I don't even know what I was thinking when I did that. It gave me chills thinking that moment. I answered, pointing as far as I could. Uh, over there. I just wanted her to get away from me. Then she limped towards where I had pointed to. And I couldn't see her anymore. Fearing that I might run into her again, I tried to turn around and leave that apartment complex. I could not think of anything but to get to a place where there would be people around. At that moment, I heard her screaming from far away. I don't remember anything from then on. I heard that my neighbor found me passed out on the ground and took me home. In 2007, at an apartment complex in Bongcheong Dong Seo, a 33-year-old woman jumped off the apartment and died on the spot. Known as a surname, Cho, a divorcee due to her extramarital affair, she had lost custody of her two-year-old daughter and decided to commit suicide. After that incident, Cho was seen walking around that apartment complex several times. <laughs> 